In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Divi Builder Social Follow module, which can be used to place icon links to your social profiles, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and so on. You can choose from different colors and shapes and layouts. Now, a great place I might want to use this, for example, would be on my blog page. So here's a page I've built with the Divi Builder. On the left, I have my blog module. And on the right, I have my sidebar. And I'd like to place some social follow icons above my sidebar so that my visitors can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So I'm going to edit this page and uh, we'll show you how to configure this module. So on the right here, I'm going to click the Insert Modules button and look for that Social Follow module, which is towards the bottom. And once you um, click on the Social Follow module, you'll be greeted with the Social Follow module settings. And it's broken up into a couple of different tabs here. And in, as a general philosophy, <clears throat> Everything you need to build a really great page in Divi can be found in the general settings. But if you'd like to venture into our custom CSS settings, you can do that as well. And you can apply custom CSS to um, the module as a whole or individual uh, parts of the module as well. But in this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the general settings. If you want to learn more about our custom CSS tab, be sure to check out my other tutorial back on the main documentation page. So heading back to the general settings, now the way the social media follow module works, is that it's actually a collection of individual um, links. And so you, you can add each link uh, to each social profile individually up here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the add new social network button. And here you can choose which network you want to add, which will control the icon that is used for that button. So if I choose Facebook, it's going to be a Facebook icon. And then you're just going to want to input the URL to your Facebook profile, whatever that may be. You want to input the full URL, not just your username. So here I've put in facebook.com slash elegant themes. And you can choose an icon color as well, but by default, it'll use the um, standard color for that profile. So Facebook uses this dark blue, and I'm just going to leave it that way and save. And you can add um, any number of links. If I want to add one to Twitter, I can do that as well. Just click the Add New button, choose Twitter, input your URL again, twitter.com slash elegant themes. And again, you can change the color if you're not, if you if you like, but in this case, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it the default blue. And as you can see, this blue is a little different because it's Twitter. It's a little bit lighter. And you can keep adding more and more links that way, depending on which uh, you know social media services you use. And if at any time you want to get a preview of the module you're working on, you can do so using the preview icon down here. So if you click that, you'll see the module rendered inside of its parent section. So we have the whole section here, the blog module on the left, our sidebar, and then our social media profile module, which I added down here. And you can switch between our responsive design testing tabs as well to get an idea of what it looks like at different screen sizes and different devices. And so I'm going to save and exit, and then I'm going to drag this up to the top because I want it to be at the top of my sidebar. And we'll update it and take a look on the front end. So as you can see, my social media links have been added above my sidebar, which is great. Now my visitors can follow me. And um, you can also choose between different layouts and, and shapes as well. So if we head back into the settings here, on the main general settings here, you can choose a couple different things. So I'll go through each of these general settings as well. You can choose a shape, either rounded, or rectangle, or circle. So if I switch to circle and take a look, using the previewer, you'll see that the icon um, container has been changed from a rounded rectangle to a circle. You can adjust the text color. Um, in either, that would be either light or dark, depending on the um, background you're using. So right now I have a white background, and so I'd want, probably want to use dark text. Um, and the text color applies to the <coughs> um, optional follow button text, which I'll go over in a second. Actually, I'll just enable that right now. So by default, we just have the icon, but you can also enable follow text, which kind of like is a little bit um, easier to understand, I guess, for visitors that don't know what those buttons are. It'll say follow next to the button, which is kind of typical for um, a lot of those um, standard Twitter and Facebook badges that you see around the internet. You'll see like a little Twitter icon and then the word follow next to it. And so you can enable that as well. So if we enable follow button text and preview it, you'll see that follow has been added. And then you can choose between light and dark text for that. So if I 
happen to have a dark background color, um, I might want to change this to light text instead of dark so that they show up a little bit better. But in this case, I do have a light background, so I'm just going to keep that set to dark. Um, you can also choose to have the URL open in a new window, which I would recommend since you typically don't want to take visitors away from the content they're reading um, so that when they're done following you and they close that tab, they'll be back on your blog. So you can choose to have it open in a new tab or have it open in the same window if you'd rather have it um, work that way. And finally, we have our admin label, CSS ID, and CSS classes, which we don't need to worry about for this tutorial. And so I'm going to save and exit and update. And if we take a look at our front end page, you'll see that the icon has been changed to a circle and our follow text has been added. So that gives you a basic overview of the different options in the um, Divi Builder social follow module.